It would be an understatement to say that this is long overdue. It's Mr. Steal Your Girl, DR Mood, in the flesh. You gotta show him how you coming. Just the sheer force behind his strikes was enough to cause shockwaves when he was going against Saber. When it comes to his speed, his A plus agility had him moving with two spears at one time with no difficulty. Despite being touted as one of the strongest servants in the war, he had Saber backtracking several times just from him overwhelming her with pure skill. There was one part of the fight where it got so bad that she had to go purely on the defensive. When they were up against Jill DeRay, you had him easily mince through Jill's monsters and save Saber on top of that. Even on one of his missed attacks, you can still see he has enough power to cut straight through metal. Even though Lancelot was wielding a metal pole that was being reinforced by his phantasm, Diarmu just cut it straight in half, then taunted Lancelot by telling him to stop playing around. He landed a vicious blow on Saber that tossed her to the side, forcing Irisville to heal her. When Lancelot was taking over the F-15 jet, Diarmu tactfully went into his spiritual form and then appeared on top of the jet to catch up with him. He has the range and the accuracy to snipe Night with his spears, mentioning if he even saw Jill's spell book in the river fight, he'd get rid of it immediately. Based on Geronimo's analysis in the chapter 5 singularity, he's at least on par with Fion and Beowulf. He's also better than Nero, Elizabeth, Geronimo, Billy, and Robin Hood, if we're going by that chapter. We've seen him withstand hits from Saber that started to create craters in the ground. When they were up against Jill, he was able to withstand the poison that was surrounding them in the air. Keep in mind that this poison was strong enough to corrode human lungs immediately. When he saved Caniff, he jumped three stories from the Einsburn third floor and came out unscathed. We've seen him casually dive head first into the city off of a skyscraper. Don't try this in your spare time. He still had the capacity to curse everybody at the scene despite being forcibly pierced by his own spear and without battle continuation. Irisville herself has admitted to the fact that when he fought against Saber, at a point they were going so fast that she couldn't even see them. She could only feel their shockwaves. His technique with his spear allows him to spin it like a wind Mill. This helped him stop any incoming attacks from Jill's monsters. With both of his spears, he was able to deflect multiple bullets that Kurosugu shot at Kanev with his calico with ease. In the America Singularity, he was able to dodge a close range shot from Nightingale with no problem. In that same Singularity, he was able to dodge multiple close range shots from Billy the Kid, who's a gun expert, and Diarmu still darted him across the field. The Fate Zero novel even tells us that when he was going against Saber, at a point they were both far beyond mock speed and nearing the speed of light in terms of reactions. Even after Kanev used one of his command spells on him, Diarmu was still able to bypass this and attack Saber. When Iskander tried to ambush them with his Gordius Wheel Phantasm, Diarmu was still able to get out the way at the last second. With the help of his Eye of the Mind, he was able to determine who Saber was from the time that he met her. Once again, by using this skill, he was able to determine Jill's location and the fact that he had set up camp by the river. Through his heightened hearing, he was able to sense a nearby car when Kanev couldn't make out anything. Due to the potency of his love spot, he's forever cursed to have a charm effect on women. This is also one of his skills. Using this same skill, he was able to snatch up Fionn's wife in his past, Princess Grain. This doesn't even include the fact that he charm Canis wife to be Sola. In his first fight, he also confirmed that this did have an effect on Saber and Irisville. If you fall victim to his love spot, there's a chance that he can emphasize it even more the longer you're with him. We saw this with Sola from the Einsburn consultation room. We know this works on women of all ages. We saw this in use against a young tiger who admitted that just by looking at him made her heart race. In FGO, we saw this work against MASH despite her being a demi 
enemy servant. Even though she tried to brush it off like nothing was happening, her heart rate also increased and her temperature as well. Just from being in his presence, you have his skill night strategy at B rank, which increases the likelihood that his enemy will fail their attack. The novel tells us that he's fought against multiple mythical beasts on his own, 11 being the minimum and one of them was Fion's caretaker. Saber mentioned the fact that he's able to make his presence known for at least 100 meters away before their battle. Before they even made contact with each other, his battle against Saber resulted in the collapse of two storehouses. The novel tells us that Saber tried to strike him 30 times and she still wasn't able to land a hit on him once. This is before her first hit. Saber was shocked at the fact of how good he was with both his spears, saying that he should at least be impaired by the fake one, but this wasn't the case. The novel also tells us that he stood with at least equal footing to Artoria in their first match. Despite Saber having an invisible cloak on her sword, the Armu was still able to determine its length, which made going against him even more difficult as the fight progressed. In the middle of their fight, you have the infamous scene where he tricked Artoria into attacking him and then quickly lifted his other spear out the ground at the last second. When Diarmu was working alongside Saber, the story tells us that even though they had took down 500 of Jill's monsters, Diarmu showed no signs of being tired whatsoever. Thanks to the fact of them both being highly skilled, Diarmu was able to etch Saber's fighting style into his mind just from seeing it and respond with the best option from just his awareness. When they were up against Jill, him and Saber tactfully used their skills together and used Saber's air vacuum to launch Diarmu with more speed. This allowed him to damage Jill's phantasm by surprise. During his fight with Saber, we're told that just watching them clash together would be enough to give the average person a heart attack. The story points out the fact that his second fight with Saber was less about it being a fight and more so about it being a contest in skill. It was more like a jousting match if anything. Midway into the fight, Diarmu did start to realize that Saber was holding back despite the fact that she was already using one hand, that her entire sword play itself has started to change. In FGO, he tells us that he is the best spearman in the Knights of Fianna. This includes Fion. Several times throughout Fate, we've seen that Diarmu has great eyesight, Fion himself comparing his eyesight to that of a hawk. In a Q&A with Nasu, it was revealed that if Ku Cullen and Diarmu went against each other in a 1v1, Diarmu would be the one to come out on top, Nasu himself admitting that Diarmu is stronger by default. If the fight took place in Ireland, Ku would edge Diarmu out only because of his fame boost. For his first phantasm, you have Gay Deer. This is his Crimson Spear. It allows him to completely nullify the magical energy of anything it touches, mainly magical defense. This is why Saber decided to take off her armor against him because it would have been useless at that point anyway. The issue with this is that it was also able to work on Saber's invisible air. So the flow of her air was also disrupted just by using his ability. Another thing he has access to is as long as he keeps the spear wrapped, he can hide the seething amount of magical energy behind it. Using this same spear, he was able to completely bypass Saber's armor and land a fierce hit to her side. He was also able to disrupt Lancelot's phantasm when he took over the fighter jet. This caused him to completely detach from the jet. Then you have his yellow spear, Gaybu, which allows him to land unhealable wounds on his target. This negated Artoria's ability to heal or get healed by somebody else. As as long as it was from the spear, and the effect will last all the way until DR mood is gone, or he breaks the curse himself. Later on in the story, we see him sacrifice this spear and lift her curse in order for them to fight Jill. In FGO, he went head to head with a swordsman with better skills than Yagyu, even though Yagyu himself is said to be a sword master. In his saber form, we've seen him wrestle with renowned fighters like Ashwatama. Really gotta say it's a shame of the lack of involvement and 
and the lack of exploration of his character. This man is out here putting King Arthur on their back. No fancy phantasms, no familiars, no random portals jumping out of the sky, just pure skill and finesse. Other servants may have something flashier, but when you come back down to earth, rest assured Diarmu will be there to give you a good old fashioned ass whooping. I gotta give this man at least a B rank. Anything lower than that would be insulting. Are you kidding me?